What's the crack chief? Welcome back to another video which is long overdue for my channel. And as you can see, I have brought back the return of Steven Johnson from my original uh, UFC series. And now he's back with more. Oh my God, this is vicious. This dude is absolutely ramping it up. But as you can see, I have the new UFC in my possession right now. And uh, and also, I am. Uh, I decided to keep the same name because, like, why not? Like everything worked well last time round, so why not do the same thing again? As you can see, I am absolutely spacing this dude out right now. Uh, I hope to kind of explain to people that actually care and would like to know why I haven't been involved on YouTube lately. I would like to explain to them in due course, but I just want to kind of get back into doing this for more. More for fun, more than anything, and because uh, I really did enjoy it when I was doing it. So, fuck you, pal. But as you can see, I, this dude is getting absolutely wrecked right now by me. And uh, get off me, you fuck. But um, yeah, if this video does well, expect to see more because, like I said, I've been wanting to get back into YouTube for a while now, and. Uh, Due to unforeseen circumstances that I will explain at some point. Oh, dude. Get wrecked. Oh, that's it. Done. That is it. What a way to start the new series. Steven Johnson is back doing what he does best. Knocking out boys. The ginger ninja. The flash is back. And he looks as dangerous as ever. Oh, yeah. But basically, as you guys know from my last previous videos that I became a father... Since then, I've actually become a father again. So I now have a daughter and a son, and I am fairly busy, is the best way to put it. But I hope to explain more and maybe introduce them at some point in the future, but I just want to get back into this as slowly as possible and just enjoy it, doing it, and hopefully grow as much as I possibly can. But as you can see, I absolutely annihilate this dude. 23 of 25 significant strikes landed, 43 of my 51 strikes all landed. Dude never stood a chance. I knocked him out in the first round. Now, if that's not setting an example of why the UFC need to sign me, then I don't know what is. But if you guys are unaware, you actually start this game in the WFA, which is the World Fighting Alliance, before you actually get put into the UFC. So the whole Ultimate Fighter thing is gone. That's no longer a thing in this game. But I've already got my own career going offline, and I genuinely do enjoy it. It's quite fun. It's just the game itself is a lot more difficult than what it has been in previous years. But... Yeah, I suppose just getting it up on YouTube and getting it started and getting a good win to start off because it took me, I don't know, about three or four days to actually win my first fight when I actually started this offline. So I'm actually glad this worked out quite well for me in my first go. But basically, I'll just quick do a quick run through. As you can see here, there's a thing called GOAT status. And that's basically the greatest of all time. So you need to have 12 submissions, 13 knockouts, 15 finishes, 28 UFC fights, 20, 21 wins. You can see the rest. I need to break all these records. I need to break six performance records and two promotion records to become the greatest of all time. So I need to do that to become the level of maybe the McGregor's, the Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson's, the Johnny Jones, all them lads. And hopefully we can do it and hopefully we can record every single bit of the way. And as you can see here, we also have a thing called contract goals. And as you can see on the right, it says we need to win two fights in a row and we need to win our next two fights by stoppage in the first round. Hopefully we can do that. I know this video has been very short, but it's basically just an introduction video. But I will show you all the build up now. I will do some training. I will accept my fight offer. And then hopefully in the next video you will see another fight. Basically this dude striking. Whoa. And there's also a thing called hype as well. That you need to actually take into consideration too this time. And basically that's like you know, the whole hype behind McGregor. Mayweather, McGregor, Diaz. All that jazz. As you can see the hype is low in this fight. I've got a camp of three weeks. I feel like I can take this dude down no problem. So we're going to accept this fight offer. And then we're going to go on and do our training. And as you can see as well, in the top right hand corner, you have money, which is the obviously the green, looks like money. Then the fans, are, I only have 20 fans at the moment, which is basically exactly like my YouTube channel, piss poor. And as you can see now that we're in the training, you can choose to do free training, or you can actually pay for a membership, which I would recommend doing if you are going to do this, because you learn so much more. You can learn different moves, different skill sets, all that jazz. So we're going to do a full three week camp to get in preparation for this, our second fight of the series. 
and hopefully we can uh, we can do what we need to do to get the win. So as you can see, there's actually these options now where you can actually spar, you can promote. Um, I'll show you what to promote. It's basically it's just like posting social media. Um, oh, it's just it's just basically standard stuff that you expect UFC fighters to be able to do. But um, I've got wear and tear already on my first training session. But isn't that a load of crap? But as you can see, your stats kind of go up over time. I got an injury. Brilliant. Stair climb. Yeah. And brilliant. I have. Right. Fantastic. So yeah, this is this is basically the whole just the whole layout. But hopefully you'll see me fight bigger, better opponents throughout time, and hopefully you'll see me become the greatest of all time. Who knows? That's obviously the end game of this series, but things tend to tend to go belly up for me quite quickly, especially when it comes to doing YouTube. But basically, we're gonna go in now. I'm gonna do some sparring in the next week of training, and that basically will mean that. Your opponent in sparring will try and emulate the person you're about to fight. So basically, it's really good you can gain fitness from it, and they will they will always try and do something that the fighter that you're about to fight will try in your fight. So it's a great way to actually kind of pick up on how to defend against what he may throw at you. So let's see what my opponent's going to do here. He seems to be quite laid back. He seems to be very happy to let me attack, which I am more than happy to do. Oh fuck. What's up, pal? What's up? Come on. Nice Basically, I just want to like not get rocked. I just want to, as you can see, the fitness in the left. I want to just keep that up as high as possible. So I want to have full fitness for my fight against whoever it is that I'm fighting. Because I actually can't remember his name. I think his name's Rodney O'Brien or something. And I haven't connected with this dude once. There we go. There we go. Oh, you fuck. You and your red hair. My hair's red, but yours is proper red. There we are. Now. Back up, sir. Back up. There you go. Bit of head movement in there. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Can we get a head kick? Oh, he did it too. Right, 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 right. So basically, this dude is going to be quite aggressive. If you find yourself in a sprawl position after defending the takedown, your opponent cannot escape a necktie submission. If there is... If you need it brilliant so we know that we can use that now and the opponent does not like it okay 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 we'll do a little bit more promoting just to try and get the hype up of the fight a little bit more and then of course rodney o'brien doesn't know what's coming i'm ready for anything i like it i like it i rate that I rate that highly now last session before the end of the video and we have another injury feckin brilliant So yeah, there you go guys, that actually concludes the first video. I know it's very short, it's just an introduction video to the series again. Um, thanks for being patient. Hopefully it's a start of something new and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and I will get back at this on a regular, semi-regular basis. And like I said, do more different videos, do vlogs with my family and do different shit. But if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, share, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can become the greatest of all time. Anyway, take it easy Chief.